Yes, a very good morning to all of you. Right, so yesterday we completed with our discussion of the remaining part of the audit report series, right, wherein we studied regarding the relationship between the notes to account and the qualification, right. So if management has given some information in the notes to account, right, is it that the auditor is not required to qualify? No, right, so management would give their side of the explanation and if the auditor thinks that it is not right, he may also put a qualification in the report and while you put a qualification in the report, can you make a reference to the notes to account? Yes. So just as in the emphasis of matter paragraph, you make a reference to the notes to account or any information in the financial statements that can also be done in case of the qualification or any modification to the opinion. Right. Then after that, we saw the relationship between the emphasis of matter and the key audit matter. Right. So what does it say? Any matter which is a key audit matter may also be fundamental to the user's understanding. That means what? Key audit matter can also be put as an emphasis of matter paragraph. And putting any matter as an emphasis of matter is not a substitute if you want to put it as a key audit matter. That means the other way around also that emphasis of matter could also be coming as the key audit matter right so what we say key audit matters are those matters which are of the most significance and emphasis of matter which are fundamental to the user's understanding i tend to convey the what you say relative importance of that particular matter if it is coming in both the paragraphs it says you can put it first in the list Right? Like when you're putting an emphasis of matter and same matter in key audit matter also. So now in the key audit matter, if you have four matters, this matter should be coming at number one. Okay, right. So that was one question I told you to be asked in the exam so far, right, which is regarding the relationship between the emphasis of matter and the key audit matter, right. Then we studied okay, what is the distinction between the reports and certificates, right. So one, what did we say? Report is expression of an opinion, right. So it can differ from one person to another, right. Whereas on the other hand, when the auditor, when the CA is issuing a certificate, he is vouching for the accuracy of the facts. He is giving the factual accuracy, right? So here there cannot be any difference of the opinion, right? Because the chartered accountant is certifying the accuracy of the facts, okay? Right? So like the consumption or certificate for the raw material or the import value of the imported raw material, for this purpose, these certificates can be issued. Right? Companies Act, you know, under 143, it requires you to issue an audit report and say under some section 66 or other places, it requires you to issue a certificate certificate right so that was one more question over there regarding the distinction between the reports and the certificates right so that completed like you know our entire question bank of SA 570 going concern right wherein we talked about the MUGC paragraph the material uncertainty related to going concern then the 700 701, 705 and the 706, right? So, you know, full total, final total, what are the contents of the audit report? Title, addressee, opinion, basis for opinion. If it is modified, then it will be modified opinion, basis for modified opinion. Then MUGC, that is material uncertainty related to going concern. Then emphasis of matter, key audit matter, other matter, other information, 720. Right, other information, then management's responsibility, auditor's responsibility, other reporting responsibilities and the signature place and date. Right, as such emphasis of matter and other matter does not have a fixed location. It says as deemed appropriate, you can put them in the audit report. Okay. And then after that, we came to two more standards in the 700 series, which was SA. Yes, SA 710, which was regarding the comparative information and SA 720 which was regarding the other information right so comparative information what is the title of SA 710 comparative information then dash corresponding figures and comparative financial statements right so we need to mainly discuss three questions over here one what is the meaning of comparative information what are the audit procedures to be performed by the auditor for the comparative information and then the reporting on the comparative information. Right, so first one, the meaning. Right, so corresponding figures, that means previous year figures are given with reference to the current year. Right, that's it, they are integral part of the financial statements of the current period. But the auditor's opinion is only for the 
current period right the auditor's opinion is not for the previous period or the comparative information right that is corresponding figure so figure may auditor's opinion is only for the current period figures not for the previous year figures right on the other hand if it is the comparative financial statements which are like mainly required you know when the company is getting listed so when they are filing their drhp or so right so comparative financial statements where financial information of previous year or years right so it can be any number of years over there previous year or years is given and the audit auditor's opinion is for all the periods right so auditor's opinion is not only for 25 but it is also for 24 if 23 is also given then also for 23 and so on right so main difference between corresponding figures and comparative financial statements is that in case of corresponding figures the auditor's opinion is only for the current period and in case of comparative financial statements the auditor's opinion is for all the periods right so we saw in case of infosys like the us stock exchange right the sec what reporting they have done there they have done the reporting of the comparative financial statements that means 23 also and the 22 also right so that is the meaning of the comparative information then after the meaning we came to the audit procedures okay now how to do the audit of these previous year figures right so current year column 25 previous year column 24 how to do the audit of these 24 figures or what audit procedures are required to be performed right so procedure number one what to do take the annual report of the last year in that annual report of the last year in the financial statements the current year column and last year financial statements current year column and this year financial statements previous year column right you cross verify right so agree the balances with the prior period that is procedure number one second you're giving comparative for comparison purpose so now you need to check whether the accounting policies have they been consistently applied otherwise you can't compare right and in case if there is any change in accounting policy retrospective effect quantified and disclosed right then while auditing the comparative information you come to know about a misstatement in the comparative information and then you come to know okay, aray, last year we did not report this misstatement only we missed out and last year we never found this this year we found it one possibility is that last year only you had found it and you had reported or on it last year itself but another possibility okay, last year there is a misstatement and that you are coming to know this year and you realized okay, oh my god I did not report it last year Right, so misstatement in comparative information not reported. What is this? This is a fact which becomes known to the auditor after the date of the audit report. Because see, last year audit report would have already been issued. And now this year I'm coming to know. Like I'm about to issue the audit report for this year. And this year I come to know, okay, oh, my last year report went wrong. Right? So it's a fact which becomes known to the auditor after the date of the audit report for which we need to follow the procedures laid down in SA 560 right? which is regarding the subsequent events and last we need to obtain the written representations from the management that comparative information is whose responsibility it is the responsibility of the management including any prior period items right so one question which is like come three times in your exams is the audit procedure of the comparative information okay what audit procedures will you perform and then we discussed a very huge chart regarding the reporting on comparative information right so that reporting we discussed it under two heads what were the two heads corresponding figures and comparative financial statements right corresponding figure means auditor's opinion is only for the current period okay and now you come to know that there is a misstatement in the corresponding figure and was it reported last year yes so now what i need to check this year whether that matter has been resolved or whether it is not resolved if it is resolved then no reporting required in the current year if it is not resolved then auditor you need to modify your opinion for the current year as well as for the prior period right for the previous year also right because it is what you say uncorrected uh, what you say the uncorrected misstatements related to the prior period right the uncorrected misstatements so even those you need to carry forward right so four times the case study which has come in your exam is this one 
कि लास्ट ईयर देर वॉज अ मिसस्टेटमेंट द मैटर हैड बीन रिपोर्टेड बाई दी ऑडिटर लास्ट ईयर एंड नाउ यू आर डूइंग दी ऑडिट फॉर दिस ईयर ना हाउ वेल यू डील विद द क्वालिफिकेशन विच वॉज देयर इन दी ऑडिट रिपोर्ट लास्ट ईयर फॉर द मिसस्टेटमेंट सो यू नीड टू से इफ द मैटर हैज बीन रिजोल्व no reporting required and if the matter is not resolved then auditor you need to modify both the current year as well as the previous year are you understanding that ke last year there was a qualification made that company has not made the provision for bad and doubtful debts whether that qualification which was made in last year report will you make it in this year report also one if the matter is resolved this year they've made the provision then no need to report this year also they are not making a provision that means it continues so then you modify your opinion for the current period as well as the previous period right this is when there is what you say corresponding figure and there is a misstatement and it has been reported situation 2 corresponding figure there is a misstatement but it was not reported right you missed it out on last year right so now what does it say modify your audit opinion with respect to the corresponding figure okay don't compare with this comparative this comparative has a misstatement right don't compare with this comparative right then situation 3 what was that ke prior period has been audited by a yes predecessor auditor so now in that case what you need to do you need to put a other matter paragraph saying what that the prior period has been audited by predecessor auditor the type of opinion and the date of report right so yesterday i showed you so many such other matter paragraphs right the other matter paragraph and then situation number 4 prior period is unaudited right so now again you will write it in the other matter paragraph that prior period figures are an audited right so when prior period is audited by predecessor auditor or when prior period is not audited these two are instances of the right the first time you said that yesterday right initial audit engagements opening balances for which we have a separate standard sa 510 so will we also follow sa 510 yes and will we also do the reporting as per 710 yes right so that was corresponding figures then we came to the reporting on the comparative financial statements okay last year there was a like what you say like in the comparative financial statements you had already issued a report last year but now there is a difference in your opinion as compared to the previous year last year for last year you had said qualified but this year now for last year you want to change to adverse Right, there is a change in your opinion. I told you earlier you did not like pizza. Now you love pizza. Right, so there is a difference in opinion as compared to the prior period. Then what does it say? The substantive reasons for the difference in opinion are to be given in the other matter paragraph. Right, then prior period audited by predecessor auditor again other matter paragraph. Prior period unaudited again other matter paragraph. And now. if prior period is audited by predecessor auditor and you think that predecessor auditor report has gone wrong you cannot go and change his report you can change your report right you cannot go and change somebody else's report so now what you will do you will inform the management not predecessor auditor auditor will inform the management management will inform the predecessor auditor and then predecessor auditor will follow sa 560 right predecessor auditor will have to revise his audit report right so that was our discussion on the sa 710 which is regarding the comparative information right clear everyone right then after that do you remember something like we saw the entire contents of the annual report of uh, reliance industries over there right so much of you know what you say a wealth or ocean of knowledge over there Right, so much of information being given over there, and then what did we say? Okay, in that annual report, if I remove the audit report and the financial statements, then in that annual report, whatever financial non-financial information is remaining, that is called as the. I removed audit report, stand alone, and Consoca audit report and financial statements. Now in this annual report, whatever financial non-financial information is remaining is nothing but the yes, it is correct. It is the other information as per SA seven twenty. Right, so we have a standard SA seven twenty. The auditor's responsibilities relating to other information. Right, so what we need to do? We need to check the consistency. 
consistency between what the other information and the financial statements if it is consistent finish standard is over how will i come to know whether it is consistent i need to read the other information preferably read it when prior to the date of report but say it is not prepared only till the date of report then what does it say prior to its issuance by the entity right prior to its issuance right it should be first be shared with the auditor and then the auditor will agree it with the financial statements and then we also saw what are the examples of the amounts or items that may be included in the other information right so we had the amounts also and the items also like selected operating data key financial results then the financial ratios over there capital expenditure capital resource information contingent liabilities of balance sheet items contractual obligation guarantees right so all those were the amounts and then we had the other items which talked about the description the articulation the general outlook for the business and so right related parties law regulation and all of that right the market risk commodity risk and so right so those were the amounts or other items that are included in the other information however the standard specifically say that other information does not include any separate you know industry regulatory reports any business responsibility report any labor practice report any human right report any diversity equal opportunity report it says all this right is not coming in your other information right and then once you read and consider the other information right one if there is no inconsistency finish and the standard is over right you put that other information paragraph in your report okay other information is the responsibility of the board of directors then other information comprises of the contents in the annual report then what do we do we read and consider the other information we do not give any form of assurance conclusion on the other information and then you say that we have to check for any material inconsistency and report if we come to know about any uncorrected material misstatement or the inconsistency in the other information and if you don't find out any inconsistency what do you say we have nothing to report in this regard like yesterday in case of reliance kya likha tha wahan pe what was written over there right we have kuch nahi and we have nothing to report in this regard but if you identify an inconsistency you will need to report okay in the financial information it is 950000 and here in the other information same thing they are showing it as 970000 right so that is the inconsistency right so once you identify an inconsistency you have to check one out of the three okay whether it is a material misstatement of the other information or whether it is a material misstatement of the financial statements or whether the auditor's understanding of the entity and its environment needs to be updated right so three situations then what did we say situation 2 and 3 and a material misstatement of the financial statements or understanding needs to be updated it says respond appropriately in accordance with the other standards on auditing so that's not dealt with in sa 720 so 720 is only dealing with situation 1 which is regarding the material misstatement of the other information right and material misstatement of the other information you might have come to know about it prior to the date of the report or after the date of the report but prior to its issuance by the entity right then what you do if you identify this material inconsistency or material misstatement in the other information you request the management to correct and then what did we say management agrees to correct refuses to correct agrees to correct and refuses to correct right so we had created situation 1 2 3 and 4 right what i told you the case study is coming in the exam on situation number 2 okay now if management agrees to correct and it is prior to the date of report then what auditor needs to do just determine just ensure that whether the correction has been done or no right second it's prior to the date of report but management refuses to correct they say no we will not correct it so then what auditor will do he will ask the explanation okay why you are giving something different from the financial statements if auditor is justified with the reasons okay or else what he will do he'll communicate it with the tcwg after communicating to tcwg also it is not 
corrected then what auditor says i will mention about it in my audit report in the other information paragraph and that also management does not permit then auditor you need to withdraw from the engagement right you show them the draft report and they see that auditor has written about the material misstatement of the other information and they are not okay with it that auditor says even i am not okay right so i need to withdraw that is resign from the audit right so that is situation 2 then situation 3 after the date of the report and management corrects so you just need to ensure whether the correction perform the procedures to check whether the correction has been made and now after the date of the report and the management does not correct now it says auditor you need to seek the legal rights and obligation right because now you are into a bad situation over there because financial statements is all good and audit report is already issued but now in this other information they are giving some wrong information right and then after that we talked about the paragraph right which comes in your audit report it says listed entities it would be compulsory to put this other information paragraph that the board of directors are responsible for the other information then what the other information comprises of then auditor is not auditing or giving any type of an assurance on the other information what auditor is doing only reading and considering the other information and if he comes across any material inconsistency he will report and if he does not come across any inconsistency he will say we have nothing to report in this regard right nothing to report okay right so that completed a 710 and the 720 right comparative information and the other information okay right then after that we also saw the you know test your understanding of the what do you say 700 series the audit report series over there and then we also just had an introductory discussion regarding the 800 series right because now we are going to be starting the chapter number 8 which is regarding the 800 series essay 800 805 and the 810 right 800 what is the title it is special right what it is special considerations audits of financial statements prepared in accordance with the special purpose frameworks okay right then essay 805 special considerations audits of single financial statement or a specific element that is account or item of the financial statements and then we have the essay 810 which is regarding the engagements to report on the summary financial statements right the summary financial state